was uh, Ricky's roommate. Oh uh, yeah. He was my best friend. I met him when I was in fifth grade, so I was ten years old. We went to grade school together, uh, high school together. Uh, we went to Bell School in Chicago, and then we went to Lincoln Park High School together. Um, I went to Southern Illinois University. I went to Southern Illinois University, Carbondale, and uh, he stayed in Chicago. But uh, you know, we always kept up when I was away at school, uh, and then I fully moved back to Chicago in 2011. And after that, you know, uh, I think is when we became. We were already, you know, very close friends, and after that's when we became super close. Like, you know, this is the most uh, important person in the world to me. Uh, and we were roommates uh, starting in early May of uh, 2012, and of, uh, of course until uh, the early morning of August 3rd, uh, 2012. Uh, I was going out to Park Ridge for a little birthday celebration because my birthday was the next day, and I was woken up to pop, 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 pop. Um, knew there was a shooting. I was actually, I remember my bed was right below the window, so I kind of just lied there. And I'm like, okay, eventually I'm gonna get up when I think it's safe. I'm just gonna go into Ricky's room to make sure he wasn't standing up and you'll make sure everything's fine because I don't know if the bolts hit our house or not, our apartment. Saw the blue lights, uh, stayed in my bed, and then after about a half hour, I saw my phone ring and I knew that it was bad. Uh, I actually did not pick up the phone so I was scared. Saw the call come in again, answered it, and that's when I got the word. And after that, it was a, you know, just a day of talking to people and giving them the news. We lived in Logan Square, uh, an area that I would consider, it's still part of gentrification, which I know there's a lot of stuff going on, but it never necessarily was a dangerous neighborhood. We were uh, near the border of what I like to call, you know, the border between uh, Logan Square and Hummel Park, which is, Hummel Park I would consider an area like Logan Square maybe five, six years ago, where it's not awful, but still not great. Um, but still, overall, I'd say that I was never really that freaked out or that, that frightened um, about living over there. Uh, in fact, when those bullets woke me up that morning, I was shocked that we had a shooting right there. And I thought, well, you know, it's when those lightning doesn't strike twice things. And we had this one shooting, but it's past us, and I'll be fine. But, you know, coming home late nights at 4 o'clock in the morning routinely on Friday and Saturday nights, Never had a thought, never looked twice. I would be checking my phone. I was, uh, I felt fine. Uh, and that's, you know, reason one out of 3,000 why uh, this has been so crazy and emotional. I've heard the term two Chicago's, which, you know, beforehand I thought it was stupid. Now I find it almost offensive. And the fact that it can happen anywhere. And even though I was feeling pretty safe, I still know that you are, you do need to look over your shoulder no matter where you are. Um, I think the whole incident made me more careful. Um, and even when I moved back home to near Irving and Western, one of the safest neighborhoods in the whole city, I'm looking both ways when I get out of my car at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm looking behind me, I'm walking fast. Um, you know, you're not safe anywhere. Stricter gun laws could only help. And especially in the city where Ricky never had a chance to defend himself, and giving him a gun would not help, but taking a gun away out of the hands of the perpetrator would have helped. I mean, what what do I think about the word Chirac? Is I absolutely hate it. I abhor it. I think it's 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 stupid the way some people use it. I, I think it depends on the way people sometimes use it. Anyway, it's negative. No matter which way you're using it, it's negative. If you're using it as a statement of fact, then I don't actually have the numbers in front of me, and I've heard people, I don't know if we've actually had more people killed here than in Baghdad. I'm sorry, I don't pay attention to the news enough, at least the Iraq news, but to say that it is as dangerous as Iraq, well, that's debatable, but it's not, I don't think it's that um, crazy of an idea. I'm sure that if you said that to a member of the US Army, they would feel offended by that because they go through something much different than what I go through. But, you know, the numbers, I think, have got to be close. So, sorry for being uneducated there, but the people that use it as a badge of honor, I think it's stupid. It was last April, I think it was 54 senators voted against the background check. And this, because I, I remember, it was like four days 
after the Boston bombings. Right. And people talk about, oh, the Boston bombings, you know, we lost three people. I remember, it was the Boston bombings where three people died. It was also the 1989-2013, it was the 24th anniversary of Hillsborough, which, you know, in England, one of our great tragedies is all the violence going on on the south side right now. One of the great tragedies in England is this Hillsborough, which is this um, uh, soccer game where 96 people died because they were crushed up against things. The cops screwed up. But that's one of their national tragedies. And it's just, it's it's everywhere in their culture. Justice for the 96. So we got this anniversary of these 96 people dying. We've got this people where three people were just killed in, in, in Boston. And it's like, in Chicago, we have a Boston bombing every night. In Chicago, we have a Hillsboro every uh, four months. You, in America, uh, in America, this is the comparison I was going to make battle on to, and I'm sorry if it offends people. In America, we have a 9-11 every three months. Every three goddamn months, there's a 9-11. It's the worst day in our country's history, and we have one every three months here, just because of guns. You know, likely that Ricky going home that night was going to get shot. It was still one in a thousand. He just got an awful roll of the dice. And the likelihood that I'm going to go home and get shot when I go home tonight is one in a thousand. I yeah. hope it's one in ten thousand, but it's, you know, no, it let's say it's one in ten thousand. Make One in a million to make me feel really safe. Um, we got to make that one in two million. We got to make that one in three million. We got to make the person who, in Inglewood <laughs> where their percentages, if I'm one in a million, they're one in ten thousand, unfortunately. We got to make theirs one in a million. We got to make Inglewood as safe as Pilsen. We gotta make Pilsen as safe as North Sound. And we always gotta be trying to move forward. How that happens, I don't know.